Hello everyone, my name is Mikik, and I bring to you a special episode for Heroes of Might and Magic 3. In this video, we're going to be doing a chill playthrough of Month 1, where I showcase the demon farming strategy. I've seen a lot of people talk smack about Inferno and how awful a faction it is. Is Inferno really that bad? I don't know. Maybe it is, but personally, I disagree. Inferno has the ability to demon farm, which is my favorite strategy, and I think that when done correctly, it can be quite effective, as I'll try to demonstrate in this video. Rather than keep rambling on, I'll leave it up to you to decide if you agree with me by the time this episode is over. No, this will not be a challenge video, but rest assured that I plan to release auto combat only later on this month, so just look at this as bonus content. Anyway, before we get into the match, I want to cover the basics of how demon farming works, so let's dive into some details. In order to demon farm, you need to have access to pit lords and a dead stack of units. However, there are three limiting conditions as to how many demons you can farm. The first condition is the number of pit lords that you have. Each pit lord can only raise a maximum of 50 healths worth of demons. So, if you have 7 Pit Lords, for example, you can raise a maximum of 10 Demons, which is 350 health, from a dead stack. The second condition is the amount of health that is available in the dead stack. So, if I had 10 Pit Lords try and convert a dead stack of 35 Me Kicks, uh, I mean 35 Peasants, then I would only get 1 Demon out of it. Do note that if I had a health boosting artifact, like Ring of Life, then the game would factor that in when converting the dead stack into demons. So with a Ring of Life, I could convert a stack of 35 peasants into two demons instead of one demon. The last condition is the number of units in the dead stack. Even though a dead stack of 5 titans has 1500 health, they can only be converted into a maximum of 5 demons, because there were only 5 units that died. So there you go! Those are the three limiting conditions for demon farming. Okay, so we're gonna get right into it. Uh, I'm gonna be setting up a match on 6LM 10A, extra large plus underground size map, one on seven free for all. Not that the alliances really, or the team alignments don't really matter here because, well, I'm not gonna be playing past month one. But uh, yeah, two types of roads, none strong on 200% difficulty. I'm going to be setting myself as red. Uh, because I'm going to be playing as Inferno, and Inferno is all red, so I'm going to just keep myself as red. Anyway, in this video, I'm actually going to be using Octavia. When I did my last playthrough with Inferno, I think that was the Inferno 1v7. Oh wait, no, 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 I used... Uh, I actually did or used Inferno when I was playing ranged only, but uh, I used Cal, and then prior to that I used Marius, I think it was, but in this playthrough I want to use Octavia. The focus for me is going to be on demon farming, so I'm going to be using the Octavia start because the gold spe specialty, uh, plus 350 gold specialty, is going to be really useful. She starts off with offense, which isn't bad, and uh, I'm also going to set the starting bonus to gold, so this will allow me hopefully in the first uh, two or three days to hit both the Town Hall and a second hero. And that's how we're going to try and start off this match. Uh, before I continue, I just want to say all of the uh, cool features that in my version of the game that you probably don't have in yours are part of the HD mod. I'm going to include a link in the description below for those who are interested in getting it. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to say regarding that. But anyway, so starting it off, as you can see, uh, I've got Octavia in my tavern, I've got Fiona it looks like, with only a stack of imps, which is rather disappointing. It would have been nice to have her uh, start with Gogs too. I'm uh, going to start it off, I'm going to grab this pile of gold here. Uh, I'm going to transfer off the uh, rest of my army first so that I have more movement on Octavia, so that the Gogs aren't slowing her down. Anyway, I'm going to grab this pile of gold, grab this pile of gold, and that will allow me to get Fiona, I guess. And speaking of which... I guess I'll use Octavia as my main. She's got scouting. Uh, I prefer her to Octavia as a main. Or I prefer Fiona to Octavia as a main. Uh, might as well just get uh, Octavia to keep doing her thing. I'm gonna grab those two piles of gold. So this is a pretty nice rich start. There's a lot of gold to start off with, which is nice. Uh, my build path for this week 
is going to be Town Hall on this on this day. And speaking of which, let me just quickly uh, let me just quickly go and verify that. Actually, yeah, let's just go and do that. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go for Town Hall to start off. Um, note that I am going to yeah, I moved Fiona back out here to grab the treasure chest so I could get the Town Hall. Um, I'm going to move her back because I know that at the start of the next turn I'm going to pretty much buy out my army and I'm just going to go. So, yeah, um, my build path for this week, normally it's day 2 Town Hall, day 3 Gogs, day 4 Demon Gate, day 5 Kennels, day 6 Citadel, and then day 7 Hellhole. This is uh, how I've been experimenting with my uh demon farming focus start. I don't know if this is better than the Afridi start that I used in the Inferno video. I personally think that going for Afridi is probably still better, uh, but I've been playing around a lot with this uh, demon focused start, and it's been working out reasonably well for me, so I'm going to use it in this video, I think, uh, just to you know go along with uh, demon farming prowess, per se. Anyway, uh, nice little Redwood Observatory here, very convenient, allowing me to see everything in this area. I can see also that there is an ore pit up there. I am going to send Fiona up there, uh, because I actually need... Let's take a look at this. So, on this day, I already have Gogs, so I can actually afford to just go straight for the Kennels. Uh, but then if I were to go for the Kennels, then I would not be able to hit a Demon Gate this turn, or this week, unless I start going northeast. So, what to do in this situation? Uh, yeah, I'm going to hold off on the Kennels this turn. I could get Kennels, but there's no, no need. I'm actually two turns ahead on my build order, just because I started off with the uh, Hall of Sins, which usually doesn't happen. Uh, and I also was able to get the Town Hall to start off the match, so that's really nice. Anyway... I'm going to start moving Octavia up in this direction. And I'm going to... I guess what I'll do is I'm going to get Fiona to go and clear out... Oh, that's a lot of skeletons. But I need to break through these skeletons because I'm uh, on route to go grab those piles of ore in the corner uh, that you guys saw a moment ago. So anyway, uh, as you can see, I'm just going to try to lure these two stacks up with those imps. Um, yeah, I, I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to take the rest of this fight. I'm going to move these two stacks here. I'm probably going to hold these two off here. Let's see if I can uh, lure them backwards here. We'll fire at this stack. There you go. Luring them back this way. Uh, I'm going to move this stack back here. Let's stack back here. Uh, move these guys down, these guys down. Pretty straightforward fight. My losses probably from this fight overall might be an imp or two. Uh, I say an imp or two because I think I might be trapped here. Yeah, I think I might be trapped uh, with that imp. But this one should survive, so. Alright, and I can take the shot here. And then I'll wombo them. Pretty clean fight, I would say. Uh, maybe I could have saved the two imps, I don't know, but I can, as far as I'm concerned, I'm quite okay with losing two imps. So, I'm just gonna take a shot, and that finishes it off. Uh, pretty easy. So, I already know how this week is gonna go for the most part. Uh, it's looking pretty, or it's been looking pretty good for me so far. Uh, I got lots of gold to work with. I think in the end, now, I will try and, wait. Yeah, okay, so lots of zombies are indeed protecting this obelisk, so I can't go that route. Uh, yeah, so what I'm going to have to do is I'm probably going to have to tailgate uh, Fiona uh, so that after I grab... Actually, I could just send Fiona this way. I could uh, clear out these skeleton warriors and then send Octavia in this direction. It's kind of roundabout, but I mean, it'll get the job done. I can get her to explore that way, too. Or what I could do is turn Fiona into my scout here and Octavia into my main. To be honest, I don't really have attachment uh, to either of these two heroes right now. Like, I'm not... They're not, like, uh, tier 1 main heroes. Like, if I could get my hands on Marius or somebody else of that caliber, then that'd be great. But, 
Anyway, that's just not going to happen, it looks like. But I do know that at the very least, uh, on this turn, I do probably want to hit that pile of ore with Octavia. Uh, I will grab this pile of gold with Fiona. And I'm probably just going to go and... It's a decision between whether I want to go and grab the ore pit or just go straight that way. Uh, I think I will probably head over this way. Yeah, alright. I think I know how I'm going to do this. So I'm going to start off getting the uh, kennels, of course. Although I guess it doesn't really matter because I'm going to get both of these anyway. Um, note that I'm not going to go for a castle this week, pretty much no matter how uh, rich I am. Because castle will pretty much bankrupt you. And some people might go for castle. Personally, I just don't think it's a good idea on the first week with this... Uh, at least with this particular start, going for demon farming. Uh, the main reason being that, like, yeah, 5,000 gold is a lot of gold, right? Like, that is a big chunk of army that you're going to be gunning for at the start of next week. Uh, or you're going to be using your gold for a lot of things at the start of next week. Uh, you're going to want another hero. You're going to want uh, more units. And if you go for a castle, I can almost guarantee you that uh, without, like, a rich start, that's... Well, you're, you're going to have a fun time trying to get everything... Uh, set up, or you're gonna have a fun time trying to get like a lot of those units, uh, or spending gold on a lot of different things, right? So, uh, here in this case, as you can see, uh, taking another fight against undead, pretty easy fight so far. Uh, later on, we're gonna take some more difficult fights, but so far the, the map's been kind of nice to me. Uh, but that's not to say that this will be, you know, a super easy map overall. Uh, but definitely the fact that I started above ground is really nice. Uh, sometimes you start underground, which, well, if you start underground, then, well, that can cause you some problems, obviously. Okay, so... Yeah, I'm just gonna... I guess make the transfer uh, back to Octavia so that I can start pushing southwest. Uh, I'm gonna send Octavia this way to go grab some more imps, and then also to pick up this treasure chest, the gold pile, and the multiple piles of wood that are just sitting around there. Which is which is actually... It's interesting, uh, I think, it worth noting, because... Uh, because I built kennels and citadel in the last two days, now I can actually build demons on day six and then hellhole on day seven, and then I'll actually be right on schedule. Uh, I'll, oh, and by the way, you might be wondering, why do I care about uh, going for hellhounds? Because I think, honestly, hellhounds is kind of... Uh, and I can actually afford to get this, can't I? Yeah, let's, let's go get that. Uh, that's like an extra demon and a half, or two demons. Anyway. Um, but yeah, I don't normally bought... I mean, Hellhounds by themselves aren't that intimidating. If I were to upgrade them to Cerberi, maybe I could get some value out of that. But the reason why I like going for Hellhounds with this start uh, is because they're a very cheap way to get more demons, right? Because when I make it to Pit Lords, I need to farm as many units as I can into demons to, f to get that big demon stack. Um, but where do I get those demons? Well, or where do I get that meat. Well, of course, I'm going to be sacking imps. I could sack gogs if I want to, but I just don't usually think it's a good idea. I'm a firm believer that having a, at least one ranged unit is kind of nice uh, in your army. Uh, but yeah, definitely Cerberi. You can you could totally convert Cerberi into demons, uh, and also uh, your tavern heroes will also sometimes come with decent armies, especially dungeon. Uh, dungeon heroes come with troglodytes. Those are pretty nice. Uh, they have a lot of health. Here, Passus is a Conflux hero. He comes with... I presume it's a he, at least. I can never tell. Uh, he comes with Pixies and Air Elementals. You can't farm the Air Elementals because they're non-living. And, of course... And I forgot to, I guess, write that up in the rule... Uh, in the... At the start of the video when I was talking about conditions... Or limiting conditions for raising stacks. But anyway, uh, there's Pixies and there's Air Elementals. The Pixies themselves don't have very much health to farm. And of course, the Air Elementals can't be farmed because they're non-living anyway. So... Yeah, I'm just going to keep pushing forward. Uh, don't be fooled, by the way. It looks right now like there's no path uh, beyond fighting the mummies. But it turns out that if I go this way and... I actually go through the Shrine of Magic Mystery, or Shrine of Magic Incantation, 
I can just go straight this way. Uh, and avoid having to fight the mummies and the gogs in this case. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of where we're at right now. So, more gold for me. It looks right now like I'm really rich, but don't worry, I'll empty out the bank uh, start of next turn. It just, I guarantee it. Oh, more gold too. Oh, that's amazing. I think, I think at this point, at the very least, what I can do, I could probably hire Alamar. Note I'm going to hire Alamar over Passus, just because he's got resurrection. You know what? I could use Alamar for resurrection, but I'd rather do this without resurrection. Like, I want to show what it's like to just demon farm, um, and not have access to, like, creature... Well, you can use demon farming to get creature banks, but that's besides the point. Uh, I will go, go with Passus, I think, uh, in this case. So, and then, and then, of course, I need to go for the Hellhole. Already I've used up 5.5k gold just from these two purchases alone, but at the very least, um, I'm pretty much prepped for next turn when I get another hero. Uh, and then I actually quickly deliver units over. So, I have 7,900 gold. Uh, wait a second. It's 9,400 gold now that I've collected some more gold with Fiona. That means I can get another... So here's a here's a good example of a hero I can use uh, with a lot of meat. I've got Gretchen. It's a tier 1 unit specialist, so she can sometimes start off with up to 3 stacks of, uh, in this case, goblins. And that is a total of about... That's like 61 goblins. That's like 300 health. Like I could farm that into almost 10 demons, uh, which is pretty awesome. Uh, but anyway, so gonna uh, try and get. Well, I usually try to get the gogs to start off. Uh, then I go imps, and then I guess demons. I could get the pit fiends too, or I could have gone for pit fiends instead. But if I do turn them into, or if I do go for uh, pit lords, then I want them to be already in town. So uh, that's why I go for demons first instead. Uh, okay. And I should have also brought the Pixies, I don't know why I didn't. That was a dumb call on my part, but anyway. There we go. And I'm going to make the transfer here. Everything goes over, except for one Imp. And then Octavia will now proceed to go take on these Infernal Troglodytes. And this should be a very, very easy battle. So yeah, this is uh, starting off. My starting Inferno army, not too shabby. Uh, this is probably one of the better uh, matches I've played as far as starting armies concerned, but to be honest, like, it doesn't matter too much. Uh, if I had, I mean, if I had a lot less gold, I probably, I probably would have still hit, like, I've, I've given myself a lot of leeway here, um, or this start has given me a lot of leeway, I could have actually just not gotten the demons, like, if I had a much poorer start, I could have just avoided the demons and just gone with imps and... Or, a, an imp stack and a gog stack, uh, if I really want to. Like, for example, if I started underground, I probably would have had a lot less. But, anyway. Uh, I mean, the map has given me uh, this many... Uh, this much gold to work with, and I can thus get myself a pretty big... Or, a pretty big army, I would say. A pretty big army of... Uh, well, Inferno Army on week two. Nice. Morale and all the times where it doesn't even matter. Okay, so these guys will come forward. I'm going to take the shot on them. Um, I think I can go and wombo that stack. Probably should have sent the demon stack after it, to be honest, and then just fired at the Master Gremlins. That was a derp on my part, but whatever. Uh, so, I mean, there was no way to avoid really losing uh, imps on this fight, just because, obviously, it was Master Gremlins. Uh, here's the thing with demon farming. Early on, you need to preserve as many units as you can, because you're going to need them later on for demon farming, right? Um, but yeah, just wait, just you wait and see how uh, big the stack gets later on. And, um, yeah, so I, I kind of want to quickly mention something as well. Um, I know that it might seem a little bit weird that I'm going over, uh, that I'm actually... Oh, wow. Uh, okay. Well, this actually is fine, then. I can... Here, I'm just trying to figure out how best to uh, deal with these goblins, because I don't want them hitting my demons or my imps. Uh, 
the Gog stack will get to go first, they'll shoot. I think here's what I'll do. I'll throw the Imp in front. Actually, I don't think it matters. There you go. That, that's fine. I mean, as long as I don't get morale, and I'm good. Okay, so even this stack of 10 demons is already doing a pretty hefty bit of damage, and this stack of Gogs is also doing a lot of damage, too. Not as much as Marksman would be, but still, uh, pretty decent. Anyway, it might be a little bit odd at the start of the video that I went over all of the details for how demon farming works, but there's a lot of people, I think, that don't know how demon farming actually works. Like, you, most people know that the Pit Lords have a special ability that allows them to, you know, raise demons. But aside from that, like, they don't really know the specifics. They don't know uh, that, you know, each Pit Lord can only raise 50 health worth of demons. Uh, they also don't know, or at least I didn't know uh, way back when, that the demons that are raised from demon farming are permanent. Uh, and this is the this is the trick to demon farming, or this is why demon farming, I consider it to be so strong, right? Like, for some people this is no surprise, but for me, um, being able to get a, like a big stack of demons week two or week three, week four, uh, and having that option of being able to farm the map really quickly because you have such a big stack is... it's great. It really is. Um, and, but you'll have to wait and see what I mean later on. I'm going to see it in action. Uh, anyway, so this... Uh, yeah, this connects... or this subterranean gate is connected to this one uh, underground. Both are guarded by gogs. I don't really want to fight two stacks of gogs to get there, uh, to be honest. I'm going to look for an alternative fight right now. I could just go this way. Yeah, this looks like a pretty nice way to go. And conveniently, most of the factions have rolled uh, Inferno, except for these two, which rolled as Necropolis. Uh, this one is Fortress. Actually, Fortress is pretty nice um, as another as another starting town. So here's the thing also with demon farming that you have to keep in mind. Pit Lords can't raise every type of unit, right? So if, for example, all of the AI are Necropolis, which is highly uncommon, but I mean, who knows, right? RNG. Uh, then yeah, you it's kind of tough luck there because um, if you... There we go. Yeah, if you're trying to go for demon farming and you only have, like, undead units, then uh, you're kind of in trouble, uh, to say the least, because you have nothing to farm. Well, I guess that's that's a bit of a lie. You don't have as much to farm, but you can still farm your own units, right? You can still farm units from your starting town, which is perfectly fine, too. Uh, so, yeah. I'm going to send Passus up here to scout, see if there's anything of value. I see that there's gold. This is a lot more gold than I'm usually used to getting. Um, it's, it's funny, because I was doing kind of a practice run before this, and it wasn't even anywhere near this rich. But still, uh, same premise still applies, minus the 10 demons on Octavia. I was still able to get all the gogs and whatnot, which is all you really need. But anyway, here we go. going to push towards the uh, Centaurs. Should be a fairly straightforward fight, especially now that I've got tactics. Uh, even with morale, those centaur captains will not be able to reach me, uh, which is pretty awesome. Uh, okay, and then I'll fire at these guys. Awesome. And then at this point, I'm going to hit them. Uh, yeah, it's fine. And then shoot them. Uh, easy, straightforward battle. And now I'm just going to start pushing this way. I see that there's an arena and a mercenary camp. I'll probably clear those both out. Um, I'm going to clear those both out, and I'm going to buff Octavia's attack skill. And then I'm probably going to turn Octavia into my official main now, uh, because she's got offense. And so whatever demon stack I end up farming will have their damage amplified by a lot, uh, because her attack skill is really high, which is just fantastic. Okay. Just not going to take chances with morale on this one. There we go. Okay, so two imps lost. I uh, get my hands on an arena. Uh, I'm just looking right now. I'm still short crystals. Because this is the thing. Uh, when it comes to getting those pit lords, I need a mage level 2, right? Uh, this is this is the goal for week two. I gotta get my hands on those pit lords, but it's not easy getting those pit lords because you need a lot of resources. You need four mercury, well, four of everything, 
uh, or four of every precious resource, which I have. I have access to pretty much ev all the resources that I need except for crystals. I don't quite know. Like I know that yeah, there's some dwarves there. I could grab that crystal cavern. I just don't want to go all the way back. I'm looking for a like a stray fight where I can just go grab some crystals on demand. So I got I got the gems at least. Uh, so I got that covered. I'm probably gonna get. Uh, where is he? Yeah, Passus is going to grab these two piles of gold, and then he's going to head down south to go grab that mercury. And I can afford to get my hands on this marketplace. Okay. Okay, and then, yeah, I think next day I should be able to get my hands on um, on that Mage Level 2, and then I'll follow that up with, uh, on Week 2, Day 6, I'll have my hands on those Pit Lords. Now the question is, at this point, uh, where can I get some more crystals? Like, I know that there is some Infernal Troglodytes down there. I guess I could... I actually don't, I don't think I can go this way. It's cut off by the Volcano. But, yeah... I yeah, I don't think I can go that way. Yeah, sure, I'll take the fight. I'm a bit lazy right now. I didn't I forgot that I didn't create one stacks, but anyway. Whatever. Um I'm still looking for those crystals. The crystals are the uh, big focus right now. That's kind of where we're at. Boom. Oh yeah, right. That didn't kill him. Oops. Eh. Should be okay. There we go. Uh, Earth Magic. Oh, wow, that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, I'll take Earth Magic. Why not? Yeah, sure. Earth Magic, and then this will allow me to level Logistics. Wow, okay. Sure. I guess Octavia is my official name then, for, for sure. Uh, Cartographer, that's pretty good. Okay, good. Crystals. Along the road, finally. So, yeah, definitely I, I'm not going to need to use that Marketplace, after all, to go and get myself um, Pet Lords or whatever. And there we go. Uh, okay. And these gogs will... Oh, wow, they just one-shotted them. Yeah, my attack skill is really high right now uh, because of all of those stat boosts that I've been picking up. So that's really nice. Let me just check something out. Yeah, okay. I grabbed both. Uh, I thought for a second I'd forgotten to pick up at least one of them. All right, and then I think this should put... Oh, three mercury. Right. That was a bit of a miscalculation on my part. I forgot that... Uh, the Mercury can actually... That pile of Mercury could have been either 3, 4, 5, or 6. And in this case, it happened to roll into a 3. So, uh, at this point... I could go for Mage Level 2 now that I think about it. The only problem is I'm still short Mercury for uh, the Pit Lords themselves, which I... Which is a problem, obviously. So Octavia will keep pushing, and... Judging by the fact that there's a sawmill here, this might actually belong to another AI. Yeah, this area might belong to another AI player. Uh, lots of battle doors. Yeah, I could definitely take that at this point. Should be okay. Uh, lots of really easy fights, but yeah, so this is... At this point, we're just trying to farm resources. Like, usually, week one is the setup. Week two is the, you know, the trying to get my... Uh, Pit Lord's up and running phase, and then week three will be when I really start farming and where I, when I'm really going to need gold. Because right now, once again, I got 7,000 gold, so it looks like I have a lot. But the reality is that uh, it's actually quite expensive. Oh, hey, look, morale was actually useful for a change. Well, sort of useful, I guess. There you go. Easy. Oh, what's this? Oh, Galthran with a few gogs. Okay. Well, uh, might as well. I can force him to retreat like this. Like, I want my gogs to be able to move first, because if my gogs can move first, then Galthran. They can definitely kill off that one gog, but. Oh well. 
yeah, f figures. I would... It's disappointing. I wanted to... This is one of the problems with playing as Inferno. Like, if I were playing as Castle, that obviously wouldn't have happened. But, hey, what can you really do about it, right? Anyway. Uh, still bringing Octavia back. In fact, I probably could go and grab uh, this Imp Crucible for some extra Imps. And then I'm going to get her along the chain. She's going to be ready for next day. And, yeah. At this point... At this point, I'm still searching for Mercury. Uh, now, I could chain my army back and then try to clear out these wolf riders, crossing my fingers that the windmill rolls uh, Mercury for me, but uh, I'm, I'm going to avoid that. Notice I'm also going to avoid Fire Lake. Once again, this is I want to focus just on the demon farming aspect, uh, and I could once again go for the castle. It's just I don't consider it a good idea because uh, it costs way too much gold. Uh, birthing Pools is an option too. But I just don't think it's worth it. Like, here with the Hellhounds, you get an additional 75 HP a week uh, for your 1,000 gold. Uh, but here you only get, like, what, 32. That's not even a demon. So, uh, I'm just going to keep stockpiling money. That's kind of where we're at right now. So, yeah, let's pick this up. Alright, uh, pass over this way. There's a horde of pixies here. I guess I could... I can, uh... do the old... surrounding all my units, and let my gogs take the shot here. Roll them away a bit. There we go. Oh, nice! They actually came forward. Okay, well that makes things really easy for me. Uh, take the shot here, and finish them off here. Alright, easy. Come on, Mercury! Nope, no Mercury. It's... Demon farming is very expensive, to say the least. Uh, of course, you would probably know this. Oh, that is uh, quite an army. All right. Well, hopefully they don't attack me with everything in there, although it looks like they don't... It looks like they had a really bad week one, uh, just because they weren't they didn't have access to a sawmill, and they don't, I don't know if they had access to their ore pit. If, uh, judging by the fact that there is an obelisk right here, um, they probably weren't even able to get through this road up until the start of this week. Uh, so they might be a bit weak right now. And, I mean, they're camping all of their units in town, so I'm guessing... I'm guessing that there's probably not that many. Like, there's probably... Like, it's probably a weaker army than mine, or he would be pushing forward instead of going backwards. But hey, I could be wrong. Maybe maybe that's not the case. Nope. Uh, appears that they are not. They're just going to be chilling there. And they built a citadel, so I'm going to avoid that fight for now. But... Uh, and I don't really want to capture this town anyway. Um... Mainly because, like, I'm playing as Inferno, and they're playing as Inferno, so it's essentially double building. And I want to actually show what you can do with demon farming using just a single town. But, anyway. So, at this point, I'm still one Mercury short. Uh, I need to do something about that. I'm still trying to figure out what, like... Uh, this is one of the big issues, too, with demon farming. Like... If you don't have any piles of mercury or sulfur, then you're kind of in trouble. But it's usually it's usually not the case where uh, you don't have here. There's like no mercury whatsoever. There's like a bunch of campfires, I, I guess. But still, I'm just I'm just waiting for it. Really, I'm just waiting for it. If I can just get my hands on some mercury, that's that's it. I mean, alternatively, what I could do is I could just use the marketplace and convert my, you know, gems and crystals and other resources into mercury, but just out of general, just off of general principle, I don't want to do that. Uh, I guess what I could do... Cyclops stockpile there. Oh yeah, definitely going to want to get this hero out now, because that's a lot of meat I could uh, get from that. That's a lot of meat. Okay, I guess I will hire the Pit Fiends. This is another reason why I leave these guys in the back, uh, or I leave them in town sometimes, because if if I have these uh, Pit Fiends, 
in town, then I can I can actually buy them out later as a secondary army. This is Fiona. That should be okay. Yeah, that should be fine. Although it's really disappointing to see that this is the only pile of mercury that's available to me. Oh, I guess there's also the throng of halflings, but that's not a very... Seems like a scary fight, in my opinion. Alright, anyway, let's make the transfer here. Uh, I think I'll bring all the pixies. That'll give them something to munch on. Can't really farm them anyway. Lots of mummies. I don't really want to fight that. They're deceptively strong, believe it or not, as I've found out time and time again in the past. So yeah, I'm going to see if I can push this way to try and take out or grab some mercury. And yeah, right now I'm just waiting. So. Okay. It's again just making sure there's nothing left. And it doesn't look like I got anything. So passing the turn here. Uh, the other players are going to go. It should be him with growth uh, plus five or whatever. Yeah, that's great. Nothing of value to me, at least. Still no mercury. This is honestly the, the most... So, I mean, I guess this is just to offset the fact that my start was really, really good. But, of course, all luck must come to an end eventually. And it looks like we have Shakti, so that's really, really good. Uh, that's more meat. Like, Shakti is one of those heroes I was talking about. Another tier 1 hero specialist uh, that starts off, in this case, with two trogs, or two stacks of trogs. Um, it wasn't three stacks of trogs, but it's pretty darn close, so. Can't complain too much about that. And sure. Uh... Yeah, sure. And then we make a bit of a transfer here. Okay. Uh, I'll clear this out later. And now I'm going to make the transfer to Fiona, and here we go. So, who to bring to this fight? I think, honestly, the stack of Pit Fiends should be enough to deal with it. That should be enough to deal with all of those, uh, all those obsidian gargoyles. So, here we go. <sighs> that is a lot of them, but I still stand. I stand by what I said. Uh, I think that this should, this is more than enough. In this case. Oh wow! All right. Okay, I'm glad I bought the uh, air elementals. They can double up his meat shields. Yeah, they can basically double up his meat shields that I can't really farm anyway, so this is perfect. Oh, oh they're actually targeting... They're still targeting the air alleys. Alright, all this is convenient. Boom, they're down, and then I can finish them off. Easy. Okay, nice. Uh, so, expert scouting. I'm gonna grab this for mercury. Oh, thank goodness. I'm actually still short on gold. Uh, and this leads me to try and actually go grab these two piles of gold with Octavia. Or maybe I'll send Axis to do it. Because there's still... Yeah, here's what I'll do. I'm going to send Axis to grab these two piles of gold. And then I'm going to send him south this way. Maybe there will be more mercury around here. Because this area has been presumably unexplored, so... I'm uh, going to go with that. And once again, here's a campfire. Hopefully... Uh, come on. Yeah, good enough for me. Advanced logistics. Yes, yes please. Logistics is kind of nice. Uh, I probably will set auto combat, or turn quick combat on for this match. Uh, just to make my life a bit easier. I'm not, not really doing a challenge anyway, so not a big deal. I'm going to grab this for wood, grab this for ore. Uh, here we go. So, Mage Shield level 2. Uh, now I just need two more Mercury. At this point, I probably could start converting my resources into Mercury if I really want to. Uh, like, previously, I would have had to convert, like, all of my resources into Mercury, but now it's, like, maybe a bit of wood and a bit of ore, which is perfectly fine with me. Like, I got plenty of that on this map. But, 
uh, yeah. So here comes Tan. He's going to clear out more stuff. That's cool. Grab this. I actually should have left that for pax uh, passes. I immediately regret moving down. No, that was a bit rash on my part. Anyway. Let's see. Stone skin. I'm still looking for haste. Haste is really nice to have uh, for a nice big old demon stack. Still no mercury for whatever reason. Actually, no, this is fine. What I could do is actually transfer over to uh, to Passus all these units, and then I'll let Passus take this fight. And maybe that. Oh yeah, I can actually just go, just go straight that way uh, towards the skeleton warriors. That'll do the trick. So yeah, a pretty slow week too, just because I wasn't able to get any mercury. Um, definitely at this point I should have pit lords, but that's okay. We're going to get back up and running in a second. And, oh wait, look! It looks like the game is being generous uh, and just giving me the words outright. Alright, as you can see, I have 1,700 gold now. I'm, I'm actually broke. But, got those pit lords here. Uh, and we can, at this point, maybe it might be a good idea to take this fight against the mummies. I just don't know how many there are going to be, though. Uh, but anyway, I'll decide that in a second. But first... There you go. Oh, okay, well, I guess I have to take this fight manually. One, two, three, four, and five. Alright. There we go. And with all, take the... here. I actually didn't need to lose that imp if I... Position my units a bit better, but not a big deal. Alright, so got some Mercury. And yeah. Uh, I have 2300 gold to work with, which is pretty awesome. I just don't have. Well, I need more gold, right? Like, I need to get gold so I can buy out the 25 Hellhounds that are waiting for me. At this point in the match, I'm not even really looking at these guys as. Uh, I'm not looking at them as troglodytes or goblins. I'm just looking at them as demons. Like, how many demons? How many demons is this? Is essentially what I'm, where I'm at right now. So, having said that, I'm going to get Fiona to head back this way. Transfer to Shakti. Uh, these uh, pit fiends, and I'm going to try to upgrade them. Which apparently I can actually upgrade them. I didn't expect them to be so cheap, to be honest. So we're going to head back down this way, uh, and then we're going to get ready to take some fights, because, yeah, it's about time to start taking some fights. We have a lot of stacks right here, uh, ready to go and clear out this area. Or, sorry, we have a lot of uh, units that we can start farming, and then I can actually go and convert them very easily. And we've also got multiple heroes here. Yeah, we got multiple heroes in this area, and we've also got... Uh, a lot of guys up this way too, so. At this point, we're just, it's about time that we start farming. <clears throat> farming gold so I can get those hellhounds, I can actually make as big a stack as possible. So here we go. Uh, we got, there he is, Shakti. We got Shakti. Going to transfer over uh, the pit, pit lords over to Fiona. I think at this point I'll start... It's about time that I start using the Speed 7 uh, 1 stacks uh, to make sure that my heroes move a little bit more quickly. So in this case, uh, I'm going to split my Pit Lords half-half. I can actually farm two stacks at once, I think. Yeah, I can farm the Goblins and the Imps in this case. Or maybe not. I actually don't have enough Pit Lords to farm my units. Huh, interesting. Alright, well, uh, so be it then. What I will have to do is I'll just have to go. I'll just have to go with the pit lords in this case. Or maybe I'll actually just farm the trogs because there's more of them. Yeah, I'll do that. Uh, and by the way, if I really wanted to be specific about, like, I, if I wanted to 
make the most out of this trog stack, what I could do is be all like, oh, uh, there's 66 troglodytes, that's a total of about 330 health, I think it is. Uh, yeah, that's 330 health, uh, and I could divide that by 35, because that's the amount of health a demon has, and then I could realize that, oh, I actually don't need to have 66 troglodytes in this stack, I only need, let's say, 64, uh, and that would still net me 8 demons. But, honestly, I'm too lazy for that, and I don't have a calculator handy, and I don't really think you guys want to sit through that, so uh, we're just going to roll with what we've got. Anyway, uh, here we go. We're going to take this fight now with Fiona against the Horde of Troglodytes. To be honest, uh, here's what I'm going to do, just to make it easier for the AI to kill off uh, these stacks. I'm going to split them into two stacks. Yes, I wish to pursue and engage. Do not apply battle results. Okay, so if I kept them all in one stack, then it would have been very difficult for these Trogs to kill them. But maybe with uh, this arrangement, it'll be a little bit easier. Okay, there you go. So I'm going to move these guys right here, and hopefully they'll gang up on this one stack of trogs. There you go. It'll be the same thing over here too. There you go. As you can see, Inferno, one of the few factions in the game that will reward you for actually losing units. Um, very interesting change in dynamic there. Alright, and I'm raising some four demons off of that. Uh, as you can see, I'm just getting my demons out of the way. I'm getting them to safety while the troglodytes take a bit of a beating here. Okay. At this point, I think I've already used my revival with these pit lords. Uh, so I'm going to revive with the other stack. And then, yeah, the rest of the fight's pretty easy. So, uh, once again, not the most exciting strategy in terms of how it's executed, but... Uh, as you can see, eight demons just from troglodytes. These are, like, from a tavern hero that I got. Granted, it was a really good tavern hero, but uh, regardless, uh, regardless, that's kind of nice. So, yeah. Now we're going to be taking a fight against mummies. I'm going to have to bring over another stack. Uh, I think the goblins will do in this case. So we're going to be bringing in the demons and the pit lords to go farm this goblin stack. Uh, pretty nice arrangement. I don't really care... Yeah, they're, they're going to retreat, so it's a good sign. Um, if it had been like 49 mummies, then I'd probably have had to put a bit more effort in this fight, but uh, I obviously am good to go, I would say, in this case. Okay, so I'm going to take a hit here. Huh, they are tanky. Very, very tanky. As you can see, just trying to get rid of this goblin stack on purpose. Uh, yeah. And I'm going to back out the demons now. There we go. Uh, easy peasy. I'm going to revive uh, the demons, or I'm going to bring some demons back here. Uh, run away with these guys, run away with these guys, run away with these guys. And then let the big pit lord stack do their swing. Or do their thing, I guess in this case. Either or works. Alright, awesome. Uh, ballistics. So we got now 22 demons, and this is just from farming tavern heroes, or units from tavern heroes by themselves. Uh, this isn't even factoring in the 25 hellhounds that I have in town, and it's not even factoring the, te the 10 demons that I still have on Octavia, or the imps that I have yet to farm as well. So, uh, where can we... Yeah, so we got some gogs here. I could try to take the fight against gogs. Would, would that speed things up? Uh, cut a path to this side, that's for sure. Yeah, because right now, just looking at where I'm at, if I wanted to, or if I really wanted to, I could actually capture this town. In most of my playthroughs, to be honest, I would have by now reached one of the AI's towns, right? Uh, and it wouldn't have been an Inferno player. <laughs> it would have maybe been like, a, like a, let's say a castle town. Rampart is like best case scenario because they got a lot of beefy units. Or they have uh... Actually no. Stronghold I think might be better? I don't know. Anyway. Rampart is nice because they got dwarves. You can farm lots of dwarves into uh... Demons, right? Because they got lots of meat in that town. 
Uh, here, I could, once again, I could steal that Inferno Town, or attempt to steal that Inferno Town, but I was trying not to go double building, but I guess it doesn't really matter too much, just because, uh, in the end, every, all of my units will look the same anyway. They're all going to turn out to be demons, so I guess it doesn't really matter too much if I double build, or, or whatever. Especially since I'm not going for a freedie or anything like that anyway. So I'm going to send passes back this way. I'm probably going to send Octavia over here. Just trying to see. Uh, got passes hanging out here too. I don't really think there's anything else for her to be doing. Okay, there's nothing here either. Okay, so let's go with let's go with Gretchen in this case. Uh, we will send Gretchen down this way. Uh, my hope is that maybe I can start getting my units ready to chain in this direction. A little bit short on the movement, it looks like, uh, being able to reach my main hero, but that that's perfectly fine, I think. So here we go. That's uh, pretty nice. It's a pretty nice uh, month three, day three. I don't know. I know there's plenty of other people out there who would probably do this, uh, do these turns better than I am right now. But once again, I'm just demonstrating a nice little strategy. And uh, if it works out where, well, hopefully it works out well. Uh, that's all. Uh, well, as in hopefully I don't uh, accidentally uh, commit. Subaru, as I like to say. So, yeah. Let's bring these guys over here. Ah, Passus. Coming up. And I'll probably deliver this uh, arrow. Actually, no, wait. I got a pixie. There you go. I'm going to make the transfer over to these guys. As you can see, nice uh, fat stack of 32 demons, uh, along with some gogs there. And now, I think it's about time that we farm the, the imps. Although the only problem with farming imps is that I'm going to lose out on one stack. So I'll probably preserve maybe another uh, nine imps to save as one stacks. Otherwise I'm going to start getting ready to farm these imps. Although granted, this is a, this is 137 imps. Uh, that totals up to about 548 health. I think that's just enough for my pit lords to farm. I just want to recalculate that one more time. That's... Uh, yeah, that is 548 health, so that is just enough for my... That is just enough. Alright, well, let's, let's roll with it. Yes, I wish to pursue and engage. No, I don't wish to apply battle results. Alright. Uh, yeah. I want these imps to die, so go forth and... Get yourselves killed. Okay, everyone's just hanging out here. Gotta be a little bit careful because if you defend, then the defense skill of these imps goes higher, meaning that uh, sometimes they will. Well, it'll make it more difficult for the Walking Dead to kill them, which is obviously not what we want in this case. Oops. Okay, there we go. Okay, awesome. There you go. Farm these guys back, take the hit, and finish them off. Easy. Alright, now we got a big stack of 47 demons. Uh, by the way, if you wanted to uh, be more... Like, I'm just pushing for farming my units into demons ASAP. Uh, but honestly, like, if I guess if you were a bit more advanced, I think one of the strategies you could do is saving the demon farming for the fights which are difficult. So, like, here, there's a fight against lots of serpent flies. I guess that takes me to, like, right over here. So that's next to a complex player. But anyway, or that's next to Teal. But anyway, uh, the thing is, uh, these serpent flies are fast, so... I would probably lose imps if I went there, so I could just use that to my advantage. Like, if I'm already going to lose imps, might as well just go and farm them after I go take the difficult fight. Same thing with these gogs. Like, they're ranged units. I could definitely go fight the gogs, and I know I'm going to lose some of my 
units anyway, so then I could just go farm them afterwards, and I'll have cleared out a ranged fight at the same time, but I'm not quite skilled enough to go and uh, calculate all that out, so I'm just going to roll with this for the time being. Uh, so yeah, at this point, I'm going to go try and fight this Dwarven Treasury. And Passus will make sure that my units are good to go. Uh, I farmed almost everything I've needed to at this point. I could now proceed to farm the Gogs if I really want to, but I kind of don't, because as I said earlier, I think that having a ranged unit uh, is good for a number of different reasons. Alright. That's fine. Uh, yeah, as you can see, 500 damage already on this stack. Uh, week 3, day 4. I think that's pretty good. And this is like... It, the stack isn't even done yet, right? Like, I haven't even finished farming the uh, Hellhounds. Uh, in fact, this is one of the reasons why I'm taking this fight against the Dwarven Treasury. I'm trying to get myself a bit more gold so that, well, I can go and... Uh, so that I can indeed go and get uh, some more demons. Okay. That stack out. That stack, and then at this point, it's just insta-kill. Alright. I also get a fair bit of XP from this fight, which is nice. Uh, I'm going to veto Wisdom for now, because I want to get my hands on Expert Offense, Expert Tactics, Expert Logistics, and Expert Earth. I'll be offered it Wisdom again, probably, or as late as level 12, so it doesn't really matter too much. Uh, anyway. Horde of Griffins here. I could actually clear out the Horde of Griffins for fun, then go and do this Dwarven Treasury. I get a lot of XP out of that, and I can actually use these demons. Yeah, we could do that. Do I want to do that? Yeah, sure, why not. Also bring the Aerelis, uh, just as some extra meat. Mm-hmm. Aerelis? And one stack imps. Perfect. I'm basically freeing up a cartographer, though, but uh, I have full faith in... Well, it doesn't really matter if I'm freeing up a cartographer, just because uh, there's no one else around here anyway, but whatever. Uh, okay, so these guys belong here. This is actually a really convenient terrain, I have to admit. Well, sort of convenient, I, I suppose. And here, I think I am good to go. Alright, awesome. I'll come in this way. I will fire at this stack, I guess. <clears throat> good. I'm gonna one-shot this stack. Oh, maybe I... Oh, wow, I didn't actually one-shot them. I thought that that would be, like, a certain kill, but evidently not. Okay, and with these guys back. Wait. There you go. Uh... With them. Fire at them first. Still didn't one-shot them. Ah, shame. I'm almost disappointed in these guys. Uh, yeah... I'm going to move these guys out of the way, and then I can actually get the hit off, and apparently I can't kill anything today with one hit, but don't worry, we'll get there. So, really easy fight uh, in terms of, oh, and, and lots of XP. That's, by the way, why I took this fight, uh, or another reason I took this fight. One, because I needed to free up the Dwarven Treasury, but uh, two, because I realized that, yeah, if there's, if there's going to be know, lots of, uh, or a horde of griffins blocking the road, then, well, that's going to be a lot of XP for me, so I can grow my hero like that. So that's, that's just awesome. Okay, and at this point... Uh, at this point, I think what I'll do is I'm going to start moving Zarfax in this direction with a hellhound. I can actually just move him with all of the hellhounds, now that I think about it. Yeah, okay, well, there you go. I uh, didn't expect them to be... Or I didn't expect to have enough gold at this point to get everything, but yeah, there you go. So then I'm going to transfer the units over to Shakti, or Shakti, and then... <clears throat> I could probably farm the Hellhound somewhere, and then we can see just where we're at, uh, start of week 3, or, well... 
it's not start of week three anymore, but you guys can see what I mean when I'm talking about. Uh, you got a nice fat stack of demons, and they're doing a lot of damage. It takes a while. Uh, it takes a while to build them up. But once you get them built up, or once you have this big stack of demons, uh, you don't need dragonfly hives, you don't need griffin conservatories. Of course, if I really wanted to, I could have farmed this hive by now, this cons by now, uh, this hive by now too, but one, once again, I want the focus to be on demons, so I'm kind of like trying to take a pass on those. Uh, but anyway, yeah. So we got these guys over here. Uh, I see that we've got Tan just hovering around this area. He's got a Freedy, which is uh, far stretch from what I've got. But he's left his town unguarded. I could totally go in and uh, I could sneak in and grab it if I wanted to. In a little bit, I can actually do it like now if I want. But eh. anyway, let's keep going forward. Uh, transfer to Passus. Passus is going this way to Octavia. Mm. And this is this is too many Hellhounds to be farming in a single go. This is like what uh, five hundred. This is like six hundred twenty-five health. So I'm gonna have to split these guys into twos. Or I'm gonna have to split this into two different stacks. Uh, so yeah, there we go. Octavia goes here, takes this fight against Null Marauders. I'll take this fight. I'm not gonna farm... Or can I farm these Hellhounds here? I guess I could. Yeah. Yeah, sure. I'll farm these... No, I don't... I'm not gonna risk it. I don't think that these, uh, Null Marauders have enough damage to kill off this Hellhound stack, to be honest. So I'm just gonna veto that idea for now. Let them come forward. Uh, take a shot here. Almost kills him. I just one shot that. Okay. But definitely this uh, this fight against dwarves, I should be okay. Uh oh. I mispositioned my my uh, gogs, but I guess it doesn't matter because I can just move them back anyway. I have the leeway to be kind of careless right now. Or yeah, I have the luxury of being careless at this point because I have I have this demon stack and it's doing me some wonders. So let's let them do their thing. There you go. Dwarves, do your thing. Sure. Okay. They're all going to start taking pot shots at the Hellhounds. Come on, do your thing. That's. Okay, we get rid of that stack. And then finally, there you go, they're down. So, I almost forgot to actually raise the units back from the dead. And let's actually go finish them off. Easy. So, yeah. Uh, we've got passes here. 56 demons now, and probably this next fight against Walking Dead will put me up to about uh, 63, I think, or something, something like that. Uh, let's send pass this over here quickly. I think what I'm going to do, uh, because I see that he's got his heroes, like, over in this side, so he can't really contest me if I start going for his main town, I will make the transfer. I just realized I got, like, a lot of imps. I'll probably maybe sack those two next, in the next battle. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to farm both these stacks, uh, coming up. Yeah, I definitely have that leeway of being able to farm both stacks if I want, so I'm going to do that. Uh, notice that... Note that in this upcoming battle... Wait, seriously, I'm, I'm getting confused. Alright, Octavia is the, uh, this hero, so she belongs there. So notice that in this battle, I have to use the stack of six pit lords and not the stack of five pit lords to farm this stack, because or this stack of hellhounds. Uh, because the stack of hellhounds has exactly 300 health. If I use the stack of five pit lords to go f harvest these hellhounds, then I can't actually get as many demons as I would as if I were to use the six or the stack of six pit lords. Uh, the difference is not too big, but uh, once again, the more demons, the better, right? So can't really. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna 
make it as easy on myself as possible. Sure. At this point, could start building towards the city hall, but once again, I'm gonna save my gold. I'm gonna save it for more buildings. So, yeah, it's pretty clear to me that I'm going to lose this fight. I just wanted to take a look at what his army is consisting of. Yeah, that's fine. I actually should have retreated there. I don't have any heroes in my tavern that I care to really buy. So, anyway. What do we got? So, we've got Fiona here. Grab this for Sulfur. Uh, Gretchen. I'm probably going to grab this for a bit of gold. going to grab this for gold. Grab this for gold. Let's see if there's anything here, but it doesn't look like there is. So, oh, and there's uh, there's another thing worth showing off. There's a vial of lifeblood there. Now, what I could totally do is I could, you know, send my hero over there. Uh, I could send Octavia to go. I could totally take that at this point. I'm pretty certain of it. Uh, if I were to, even with these fifty, uh, the stack of fifty-six demons, I could go straight down, fight the dread knights, and pick it up. I don't actually know how many there are now that I think about it. I'm gonna guess pack. Uh, with a pack of Dread Knights, though, I'm almost certain that these demons could take them. These guys are dishing out about uh, 500 base damage uh, per hit, or I guess 400, a little over 400 base damage a hit. Uh, and it's amplified by, by Octavia's uh, offense skill and attack skill. Um, but the point is, if I get my hands on that Vial of Lifeblood, and then I were to start farming units using it, then man, that's even more demons. But uh, that's for way later. Yes, I wish to pursue and engage. Do not apply battle results. Uh, yeah, I'm going to send these guys forward. Send these guys forward. And... Do their thing. Oh, nice. They actually uh, wiped out that stack right away. Okay. I'm going to bring these guys back as apparently two demons. Okay, let's let them do their thing. And let's get ready to let the fat stack sing. Okay, that's uh, another hit and another hit. Alright, perfect. So now I can use this big stack to one-shot that. And then I'm just going to harvest uh, these demons. So nice, I got uh, off of that stack of 12 hellhounds, I got 8 demons. And now I'm going to wipe that stack out. Uh, artillery pathfinding right now, I think I need... Well, it doesn't really matter. Um, I don't think I'm going to be using pathfinding anytime soon, because all of the terrain that I've been covered is underground, basically. Or grass, in the case of teal, if I go in that direction. But anyway, yeah, so... There we go. We have 66 demons. And a vampire's cow. I don't really care so much about that, though, so I'm just going to ignore it. Uh, yep. And then we're going to get Octavia to go and grab... Uh, all these units back. And I'm going to start heading up north this way, towards their main town. And maybe I can... Nope, I'm just one step short. Or two steps short, actually. But, I mean, their main heroes are way... Uh, quite a distance out. So... Oh, and, of course, I'm cutting off the entrance to their town. So even if they want to defend it, they, they kind of can't. So here we go. Uh, I just want to check quickly, what does my chain look like right now? Uh, I'm probably going to have Zarfax just chill here for a bit. Uh, might as well bring this guy out. I need somebody to start doing the chaining in a little bit. So it's going to be Shakti. And then I'm going to make the... I'm going to hit the Learning Stone with Fiona, and then move it over to this uh, road, and then I'm going to transfer it directly to Passus, and then Passus is going to transfer it directly over to Octavia. I could build a ca um I think it's called a Castle Gate, right? Yeah. I could also build a Castle Gate in both those two towns, but or that's an option. It's just really expensive. And I just don't think in this case that it's a good idea. Alright. Awesome. Awesome. 
So at this point, I might actually lose a fair number of units. Uh, notice that I'm going to split these guys up into one stacks of gogs. Uh, and I'm going to put this big stack at the top because, as always, when I take the siege, uh, when I take the siege, I'm pretty sure that they're going to target the bottom three stacks of gogs first. Okay, there you go. Oh, or they can target the imp stack too, it doesn't really matter too much. Mm-hmm. Sure. Uh, yeah, okay. I'll lose some gogs here, that's fine. I'll more than make up for it by actually capturing this town. Ah, lost the pit lord. It's fine. Ow. Yeah, I think I should just one-shot them. Alright, nice. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna have to roll with it. Uh, they offered me fire magic. I don't really care so much about that right now. I do care about getting this my hands on a spell book. They went for El Clasico Capital Rush, and they were nice enough, or generous enough, to build out the entire town for me, leading up to the devils. How very generous of them. Uh, might as well get the Order of Fire. I have the gold for it now, and the income, thanks to the AI. So, start of next turn, I should be getting a ridiculous amount of stuff. Uh, wait, there you go. I'll leave a Gog here in case they just happen to have a side hero lying around. I'm going to get a ridiculous amount of uh, units, I think, which is pretty nice. I hit this for knowledge, and yeah. Pretty much everybody's in position to do something. Uh, oh, yeah, right, Gretchen. Okay, well, maybe I can use her as a distraction. Or just get her to keep scouting to see what we got here. Oh, it's not even its not even a fight against a pack of Dread Knights. It's just several Dread Knights. Yeah, almost certainly I could take that uh, with my current army. Uh, but, uh, yeah. So, Geon is in position to transfer units to Zarfax. Zarfax is in position to transfer units to Shakti. Shakti is in position to transfer units to Fiona. Oh, wait, forgot to pick this up on the way in. There you go. Okay, and then Fiona will be in position to transfer units over to Passus. Uh, and then, yeah, that's pretty much where we'll be at. At this point, castle might be worth considering, but I stand by what I said previously, which is that I just don't want to spend 5k gold on a castle. Oh no! Okay, well, I guess they kind of broke my chain here. Uh, yeah, I'll let them have the hero so that I can get more reinforcements started next week. Well, this is rather unfortunate. Uh, and a bit awkward, too. Because I was actually expecting to, you know, be able to transfer units directly back to my main town or whatever. Or from my main town all the way over to my main hero, but whatever. Okay, I'll recruit everybody. I mean, I can afford to do so at this point, so why not? Uh, next turn, I'll probably buy out all the units from the other town uh, that I just captured. Uh, Gion can head over here. And I'll collect this uh, big stack of units. Oh, what the... There we go. So Shakti goes this way. Oh yeah, right, because somebody decided to um, mess with my chain here. I actually can't go and fight him, or I can't reach him. But I guess what I could do is I could send passes here, uh, collect the army, and then take the fight. Yeah, we'll see that. The glorious victory... Oh yeah, he can't run. There we go. Should have actually used this opportunity to farm. Actually, I can't really farm with a uh, hero so weak, though. Alright, well... Uh, yeah. So, Octavia's just hanging around here. Not entirely too sure what to do with Octavia, to, to be 100% honest. I could go try to take this Nagabank fight. Just for amusement's sake. Yeah, I'll see that. Uh, yeah. We can go... Get 
that, with that. All right. So now Voy is ready to start chaining units back down this way, because I'm going to try to clear out that Nagabank, I think, because I'm going to need the gold. Speaking of gold, I actually have a lot of I still have a lot of movement available with Gretchen. Let's uh, do that. And, uh, I've basically walked into Zyron, but I mean, I've been able to, I basically get to scout everything in this area as a result of this. So, uh, let's send Octavia directly south. Oh, learn slow from Voy. I didn't realize the Voy started with slow. Oh, that's very convenient. Uh, so, Octavia. Uh, giving her some pit lords to make it uh, so that she's much faster sort of next turn because she's got advanced logistics. Uh, and yeah, I mean this chain is kind of botched, but I'm kind of doing my best here to make it work, sort of. Okay, awesome. See, they keep moving their heroes to chase mine, but they're always one step short, which is just painful to look at. Okay, here you go, Gretchen, still scouting south. Oh, hey, look, logistics! Hut with logistics, and it looks like Teal is nearby. Alright, so... Yeah. Oh, witch hut. Ah, basic luck, nice. I could totally get that on Octavia, and maybe she can use her demons to get double damage and just that's that would be pretty nutty or pretty lulzy I guess okay so pass this is over here going to continue the chain or you're gonna start moving up the units uh, I think oh yes I remember now I remember what I was doing so here's the issue right now. I've, I've transferred most of my guys, but not all of them are particularly useful. I think at this point I need to get rid of Zarfax uh, so that I can get one more hero out here from my side town, or from the town that I captured from earlier. And in fact, Gurnison even comes with a Ballista, so let's get him. Uh, I can afford to chuck a bunch of wood, I think. I got plenty of wood. So I'm going to use these resources to get my hands on some demons. Some hellhounds, some imps, and I could actually get some gogs too if I feel like it. Yeah, sure, why not? Why not? Might as well just buy out the gogs. That close enough. Eh. Okay, there you go. So I bought out the gogs, or I bought out all the uh, low tier units. I have access to pit fiends and a freedy, um, but as I mentioned at the start of the video. Even with Afridi having 360 health, or four Afridi having 360 health in total, there are still only four Afridi, and so I can't get more than uh, four demons out of buying those Afridi. So it's, of course, not worth it. There we go. Transfer units over. Uh, yes, this is the big demon stack, so let's bring them along. I just realized I... Ha I got expert slow, so that Nagabank fight is going to be easy peasy. Or should be easy peasy, unless I uh, mess something up. Ah, I can bring these hellhounds to get farmed on that Nagabank. Let's do that. Alright. One, three, six. Ooh, what is this? Magic well. Fantastic. Okay, there we go. Nice, uh, conveniently placed terrain here. Wow, they're targeting the one stacks? That's a bit of a surprise, to be honest. I thought they would go for the ballista. Oh wow, the ballista did 41 damage. Alright, well, ballista only challenge, ladies and gentlemen. Ah. Uh, yeah, sure. Alright, awesome.
Uh, yeah, at this point... I could go... For, I could use the XP. Oh, wow! Logistics! Oh, that's convenient. Uh, no, I was just thinking about, like, why gold... Or why XP over gold this one time? Well, at this point, I don't really think there's anything I need gold for. I've bought out most of my army. Uh, bar the Pit Fiends and the Freedy, which I kind of don't need at this point. I've got most of the, or the heroes that I need, really. And... Yeah, no, I mean, I'm, I already have another 4,000, or sorry, 5,000 gold coming next turn. Well, I guess 5,350, but uh, thanks to the capital that the AI bought for me in his main town, so, or its main town. So, yeah, uh, all these things combined uh, means that I think I should be good to go. Let's see here. Yeah, I'm going to leave Shakti here for the time being. And we got Void just hanging out here, too. Alright, I think I'm pretty much set. Pass the turn, and we'll get to see what I have in store for the... or for the next move... Uh, or for the next turn in a moment. So, yeah, Octavia steps into this Nagabang. It doesn't really matter what the size is. Uh, I'll probably crush it regardless. But at the very least, I know that I want the Hellhounds to be out in front, so... Because I'm going to farm them here. Do not thought about the results. Although, it looks like the AI successfully farmed them into demons. I didn't want to chance it. Uh, and I was also hoping that this would be like a, a maxi Nagabank. Like, it would, like... I was hoping that there would be... Like, it would be full. But I'm, instead, I'm going to get the lowest possible amount from this Nagabank. Yeah, I should move him out of the way. Uh, which is going to be like, what, 4,000 gold, which is still pretty good. It's just not as good as I was hoping it to be. Alright. That was going to take a while. But thank goodness for no enemy retaliation. So I don't need to worry so much about my units retaliating and killing them off. Oh, great. They even got morale. How convenient. Okay. Uh, let's just slow him down again. I don't want to take that chance. But. Okay, backing him up. Okay, that could have gone badly if they got morale, but they didn't. Lucky me. Rather, not unlucky me. Okay, 4,000 gold. Uh, on, well, 4,000 gold given to me. Uh, I can go back here and reach this well. Yeah, I'll be one step short, but that's perfectly fine. Uh, who is this? Foy? Yes. What the... Okay, there. Awesome. So, 83 demons, it looks like, with uh, 38 imps coming up. Uh, 38 imps going to be farmed into demons next. Uh, going to transfer everything back over to Gurnison. Gurnison will start heading this way. I just want to check to see if there's anything else I need to farm. I got six pit fiends available. But, uh, that... It's not really anything to farm. Oh, here we go. Here's a lot of units that I have to farm. Uh, there's got to be a fight I can take somewhere. Oh, hey, look. Back of demons. That's convenient. Let's go and take that fight. Hopefully by this point, uh, I think I've done... I mean, I guess, I guess I haven't really done a good job showcasing just how strong the demons are. Although, maybe I am. Maybe I'm not. Maybe this is something you guys already know. But this is... Uh, this is kind of a playthrough which, you know, I wanted to do because, like, it's been a while since I've done a playthrough just for fun. And I know that there's been a number of people who've been asking about it, like, oh, uh, you know, it's great that you've been doing these challenges and all, but uh, it would be nice to see uh, a playthrough where you just, you know, try to go crush the AI uh, and not have to worry about rules or anything like that. And, well, to those people, I say this is the solution I came up with. Um, the fun little playthrough where I have a goal. Yeah, fun little playthrough where I have a goal, uh, which I'm quite happy with. Well, I guess I should just bring these guys out. Alright, awesome. Ah, oh, there we go.
Uh, yeah, let's not take chances on that. Okay, uh, so I'm going to farm the stack into nine demons, and then... Well, I guess I didn't kill them, but there you go. So now we're up to 98 demons, pretty good. Last time, I, uh, the last run I did, I think I had 100? Or no, I think I had about 98 on week 4, day 7. Uh, but yeah, this time it's looking a bit better for me. Anyway, let's start pushing this direction. Uh, so I got lots of serpent flies here. Once again, I could try to just break this open, uh, but at the cost of the imps. Well, cost being a good thing in this case. Or I could go try to clear out the lizardmen. A lot of good choices. But whatever happens, I know what I'm going to be doing next turn anyway. Or can I even make it next turn? I guess I can. It'll probably be the turn after. But uh, I actually want to clear out this Dragon Utopia. I want to clear out this Dragon Utopia with my fat Demon Stack, and we'll see just how much damage they can really do uh, against a worthy foe. Uh, and speaking of worthy foes, it looks like I've come across Teal. I'm going to back myself up. Uh, yeah, so Shakti is on his way back. And I guess I'll put Geon right over here. Actually, no. You know what? This is this is actually a really dumb call. I'm just going to go take on the Serpent Flies, because it's actually on the way uh, to this area. And I think Roshka is hovering around here, too. So, Jean could probably make it up to here. And then... Yeah, Octavia is just about to reach this. Awesome. I got past the turn. If I really wanted to go all in, I could also buy out the, the Pit Fiends and the Afridi and farm those, but uh, you know what? I think I'm going to veto that idea for now. <laughs> okay, in the meantime, uh, where is he? Sorry about the spa uh, like the random clicking, by the way. Like sometimes it's uh, I mean, hard to remember which of my heroes uh, I want to actually move, right? So I got basic tactics, so I can actually take this fight and not have to worry. Do not my battle results, and I'll retreat. Yep, that's cool. Uh, buy Octavia back in this town, eh, just for fun. I could actually just go for a freedie. I'm going to go for a Freedy just for speed advantage. Or not for speed advantage, but I could uh, just leave an Afridi on Octavia, and that'd give her max movement for next turn. Uh, blind. Still no shield. I was actually kind of hoping I would get my hands on uh, shield. I could cast that and preserve more units that way, but I guess it doesn't really matter too much. Okay. Whatever. I'm going to start heading down south. Alright. Ogre's Club of Havoc. Uh, I kind of want to go through the subterranean gate and see what's there. Uh, but yeah, here's the main highlight of the turn. Oh no, I messed this up. Oopsies. I messed this up completely. I was supposed to get a hero out from here and transfer the units from that town. Okay, uh, hold on. I can still rectify this mistake. Let's see... Who is here? Nobody. Okay, nice. I can dismiss this hero. I can attempt to try and fix my mistake here. Uh, it doesn't really matter which of these two heroes I get. I'm just going to buy or move these guys back. Ah, oh, I can't even reach anymore. Well, let's see. How far can I even make it? I make it pretty close to uh, pass this, but at this point I'll just focus on making the chain work. Uh, so yeah, Passus can head up to about here. Uh, probably deliver units to Shakti next turn. But first, let's get Shakti to take this fight against lots of Serpent Flies. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Yep. 
Nope. That's a lot of serpent flies, though, really. Um, I don't quite know why there's so many of them, but sure, we'll roll with it. Uh, yes, yeah, so we got 98 demons. That's pretty awesome. I'm gonna see just how much damage these guys can dish out. I'm not going to attack with the gogs just yet. 16 imps. That's fine, that's fine. I'm take the attack here. That ballista is scary. Like, I want to farm. I want to farm my units, but I have a feeling that there will come a turn when uh, there will come a turn when my ballista will fire and kill uh, one of the like whatever. Like, it'll basically end the battle without me meaning to end the battle. Oh, okay, lost a gog there, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, advanced offense. Uh, so that puts me up to 107 demons on uh, week 4, day 4. Uh, not even end of month 1 yet. Uh, so we're moving units back over to Rashka. And then we're going to get ready to uh, start pushing in to try and take this Dragon Utopia. So stay tuned for the next episode of Demon Farming. And here goes Tan. Trying to capture a town. There he goes. Uh, successfully captured a town. Good for him. And if it hadn't been... If I hadn't come across an AI, by the way. If it had been, like, a village town instead. Like, that still would have been fine. Uh, like, yeah, I got a bunch of extra hellhounds and whatnot from this uh, side town. Uh, and some extra demons. But, like, it could have been any town, really. Uh, I would still have, like, 70 or 80 demons. Which is still acceptable. Like, I could still probably do this uh, Dragon Utopia. Uh, even with, like, you know, 70 to 80 demons. Assuming that it's not, like, a max, uh, maximum size. Like a Dragon Topia with maximum size. Alright, there you go. And then Shakti can go this way. Transfer some more units this way. Dismiss this Trogly. And here we go. So there's a throng of serpent flies. That is a lot of them. Okay. Octavia getting ready to take this battle. Uh, I'm going to transfer, of course, the main army to Octavia. Uh, but I want to actually farm these lizardmen and these gnolls before I go and take the fight against Dragon Utopia. So... I should dismiss this. I don't need this. Yeah, this seems like a pretty decent arrangement. I'm going to get Octavia to waltz in here. Take the fight against Serpent Flies, and then, well, we'll see where to go from there. I could have also gotten this Witch Hut for luck, but oh well. Whatever. Ooh, nope. Oh, that is a lot of them. Uh, I'm going to put my best foot forward here. I'm going to open up with Mass Slow. Uh, I don't want to take chances. Yep, please kill him. That would be good. Almost well, certainly they're going to want to target uh, those two stacks, so I'm not going to bother. Mm-hmm. That's one stack turned into demons. That's two stacks turned into demons. And yeah, so they probably will target the imp at this point. Yep, there you go. Took out the imp. Ah! They almost killed a demon. But that's okay. A demon survived, and now... There you go. Uh, got... Or cleared the battle. Oh, there you go. So we got basic air magic. That's awesome. Uh, so yeah, I just came to realize exactly how much damage my demon stack is doing. It's doing 1600 to those serpent flies uh, on Octavia, who has expert offense and 9 attack skill. So they'll do a fair bit less against these dragons, but you can see it's pretty nice that on week 4, day 5, I'm able, or I have this option of being able to take on uh, dragons at this stage in the game. 
So I have a bunch of one stacks available to me, so I might as well use them. Um, fortunately, that means that my uh, demons can't get morale, but oh well. I put them on slot one so that uh, they don't get attacked outright, and here we go. Dragon Utopia, and it's not a maxi taupe, but it will have to do. We'll get a fair bit of gold off this, and we'll get some hopefully decent artifacts. Uh, so it's a minimal taupe. Uh, lost 26 demons off of this, apparently. Let's see if we can do slightly better. Okay, come on. Really? Okay, maybe the positioning that I chose wasn't that good. Uh, I could have. I thought that one would be the safest, but I guess not. Here, hold on. I actually want to retry this battle. Uh, I want to retry this battle quickly. I mean, it's once again, it's a chill playthrough. Uh, just want to try this out for myself. Wait a second, this isn't even the right game. Oops, my bad. I guess I don't have. Oh no, I guess this is it. There you go, this is the correct one. Yeah, so probably, I mean, hopefully this doesn't damper your image of the playthrough that I'm doing too much, but you can see if I put them on slot three, I think that it'll force, the yeah, there you go. So positioning does matter here. Uh, the AI, I guess the black dragon, chose to target the demons because it knew that it would draw out the retaliation so that the green dragons and the red dragons could both take a pot shot on the demons, right? Um, so, yeah, definitely slot 3. I gotta keep this in mind for the future. Slot 3 is definitely safer for them, because I think that the red dragons wouldn't be able to reach uh, the demons from that slot, but then from slot 1, apparently they can, as well as the green dragons, so. Uh, either way, though, eh, not a big deal. Uh, still, point is, these guys hit pretty hard. Like, I still would have won that battle, uh, even if I didn't uh, cheat and reload, but once again, trying to showcase just what these guys can really do. So, I'm going to Wombo them. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on. Uh, yeah, so I got Stone Skin off, but... Still, if I had Shield, it would be way better. And also, if I had Haste, that would be nice, too. I should have drawn out the Retaliation with, the, uh, with this Pixie. Actually, I could still do this. I think now the Green Dragon will try to target that Pixie. Yeah, there you go. That all works out fine and dandy. There we go. Only lost 14 demons. Uh, and I got offered Wisdom now. Uh, I'm going to go with Wisdom because I don't have uh, access to uh, Haste anyway. Titan's Curus, Orb of the, Firm or Orb of the Firmament, Grinnell's Flail, Pendant Free Will, and 20,000 gold. Not a bad Dragon Utopia. I, oh, actually, that's... Eh, it's not that good. I mean, at least my Lightning Bolt does 500 damage. Any battle that I take from here on out, I can Lightning Bolt a stack to death like, almost instantly, so that's pretty nice. Uh, however, I mean, I was really hoping I'd get my hands on, like, Angel Wings. If I got my hands on Angel Wings, I could have cleared this Dragon Utopia, uh, and then I could have maybe gone from there. But, yeah, you guys can kind of see what I what I mean, right? Like, uh, week 4, day 5, I already have the option of taking a Dragon Utopia, and I would have had this option regardless of whether I had a second Inferno Town or not. Uh, if I were playing as, I don't know, uh, most of the other factions, and I weren't trying to farm the creature banks, right? Like, let's say I were playing Castle, or if I were trying to play as, uh, I don't know, Dungeon, well, Dungeon's probably not the best example, Stronghold, right? Like, if I were playing Stronghold, I probably wouldn't be able to go do a Dragon Utopia on week 4, day 5, but here I am, got a nice big demon stack, got some nice stats from that Dragon Utopia. Still, once again, I'm bummed out that it was Titan's Curus, uh, Titan's Curus, like, if it were Helm of Heavenly Enlightenment instead, that would have been even better. But you can kind of see where I'm coming from. What I'm trying to showcase here uh, with this uh, with this playthrough. Anyway, so we're going to keep at it. Uh, I still got plenty of units here, it looks like. i try to push forward. Deal with these gogs. They should be uh, running. Yes, they are. I'm going to let them slide. Uh, lots of gogs. I don't really want to deal with them either. I don't have any more meat at this point. And yeah, I could take these guys. That's not too difficult, I'd say. Yeah, there's an easy way to deal with this battle. Ha, huh, come forward, you vampire lords. Alright, nice. Wombo combo. And yeah. There we go. Easy. Easy Kaka. And now at this point, 
uh, I mentioned earlier, by the way, uh, Griffin Conservatories. I could, I could have also before I did that Dragon Utopia. I could have invested a turn or two to try and clear out the, that Griffin Conservatory and this Griffin Conservatory. Like I know that these are here. If I clear these out. If I clear these out, I can get my hands on angels, and in fact, I will clear them out just to show you, well, what these uh, demons can really do as far as farming more units is concerned. Like, this is, once again, why I'm trying to show this off, right? Like, the whole idea of demon farming, it's not just about bringing your units into the, f or those demons in the final battle and saying, oh, hey, look, I have a fat power stack, uh, because a lot of people are all like, oh, yeah, this demon stack, it's super slow. It's like, okay, yes, it's it's slow, but uh, it's very powerful, like, it hits really hard, and it's kind of like why skeletons are so strong, like, yeah, uh, they're speed fours, but no one questions how strong skeletons are, because if you have a stack of, like, a thousand skeletons, those guys hit like a truck. And here it's the same way. Uh, you definitely can't farm as... Well, I, I would like to think that you can't farm as big a skeleton stack as you can a demon... Or no, other way around, sorry. You can't farm as big a demon stack as you can a skeleton stack in the same time frame, but uh, the demons... You know, you can even with 98 demons right now, that's still really, really good. If, like, if you compare that to my... Um, my Necro video, I think I only had around somewhere between 500 and 1,000 skeletons in the same time frame, but... Yeah, just musings, I guess. Let's go let Octavia do her thing. I'm gonna go fight this just for funsies. Horde of creatures, okay, well, it's like a minimal size. I'm gonna mass slow. I'm too lazy to take this fight myself uh, and try to think about it. Thirty-three damage. Not quite enough to kill one. Yay, I got an angel. All right. Uh, and then if I really wanted to, I could, in fact, throw this angel on one of my side heroes, and th th that he uh, side hero could go and farm pretty much everything in my area at this point, bar the uh, dwarven treasury. But uh, yeah, too easy to do that too. Once again, just relaxing, trying to. Yeah, sure. I got an angel. No. In fact, I have an angel. Well, let's just leave the angel on Octavia, and that way she'll have max movement for next turn. And I can actually even uh, push forward on these infernal troglodytes. Alright. And then I'm going to get these guys up this way. I'm going to get uh, Geon to just go over here and grab units here. Alright. Nice. So this is probably going to be the last turn that I take. Uh, oh, I just realized there's a treasure chest here. It's a hard time I'd even notice. Yeah, sure. Let's then pass this over here and uh, just to go see what exactly I'm working with. Yeah, at this point... At this point, what's interesting is that I know exactly what's in this area. Uh, I know that I could probably, at this point in the match, if I weren't trying to showcase what I could farm on the map with this f uh, big stack of demons, I could totally just go and start hunting down the AI. Uh, I already know where Teal is, I now know, I guess, where Orange is too, because, well, uh, Orange is swarming this area, so he's probably on this side, I'm guessing. Well, I know that this takes me to town, but anyway. Uh, point is, uh, I have a lot of options available. There is nothing that the AI have at this point that could stand up to a demon stack, or a stack of, what is this, 90 whatever demons? 98 demons that are dishing out like a thousand per hit, uh, assuming that it's on Octavia. Actually, they do like more than a thousand per hit now, because I have Greater Null's Flail, I think. Uh, but yeah, that's all looking fun and dandy. Uh, what else we got here? We got Gretchen. Sure. I'm going to start sending him this way. Oh, hey, look. Uh, Teal apparently has... I guess Teal went and captured Orange's town, is my guess, because they uh, they really shouldn't have a town 
like a, a side town available to them, but I guess something happened there. Uh, that's my guess, at least. I'm pretty sure this is Orange's town. I'm gonna go confirm that in a moment, but... Anyway, yeah, Tan's making his way over. Uh, month 2 is gonna be rolling around soon. What the... Uh, okay. Well, that's interesting. Well, I guess I'll surrender. Ah, there's Teal. Cover of Darkness just got built. Uh, yeah, that's a castle. I'm pretty sure that the Teal AI didn't try to go double building or anything like that. It's just straight up, uh, Orange lost his town to Teal. But I don't know where Orange ended up, you know, making his last stand, but anyway. Okay, too easy to take the fight manually, so I'm just gonna let the uh, Angel do the work. Uh, there's like an arena, I think, up there. I could have boosted the attack skill on Octavia, but I want to see if there's anything I can farm uh, in this final turn. I could keep the playthrough going if I really wanted to, but uh, the whole point of this... Oh, hey, look, another Inferno Town. How convenient. Uh, and in fact, what I could do... Oh, hey, look, a Demon Gate. Oh, wow. The game knew that I was going to try to Demon Farm, or it knew that I was Demon Farming. I could totally farm the Gogs if I wanted to, but let's not do that. There you go. Oh, wow. I was, didn't expect them to instantly kill that stack, but sure. Okay. Kind of wish I had haste right about now. Sure, let's do that. Sure, keep casting spells on each other, why don't you? Oh, fantastic! Make my life easier. There we go. Easy peasy. Alright, what does this box contain, I wonder? 30 Magogs! Nice! Uh, too bad I don't have anything to farm them on, but... Yeah. So, just to kind of recap here. Uh, it's week 4, day 7. Uh, oh, hey, look. I could have also gone for free. You know what? I'm not done just yet. I am not done just yet. I can still farm some more units if I feel like it. So I shall farm some more units. Actually, no, I can't really farm more units. I could farm the Magogs and the and the regular Gogs here. Uh, but once again, I wouldn't actually do this in a real game. But just out of morbid curiosity, I kind of want to see uh, how far I could have gotten. How far I could have gotten with this. There you go. Uh, 14 of them. Could they actually farm... Uh, all these gogs at once? I don't think they could. So, let's do that. Yeah, definitely want to take this fight. Yeah, go forth, my magogs. Yep, you do your thing. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay. What the? no, 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 no. Don't target my 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 actual gog stack. Come on, finish what you started, dude. Fight like a man. Alright, nice. And we'll raise the stack. Nice. Eleven uh, demons out of that. Uh, okay, so 117, and then I think I can actually fight these Master Genies. Yeah, I don't like those losses at all. Okay, I'm just going to wait for them to come forward. Hopefully they, they go for the same stack. It would be kind of frustrating if they don't. Ah, oh, they're going for two different stacks. Alright, well... Nothing I can really do about that. Here. See if I can... 
even kill both decks if I wanted to. How much damage did they just do anyway? 1400 damage, and that's not even my stronger hero, or strongest hero. Okay, take the hit here. That should draw the retaliation. Uh, let's just raise that. Ow. I guess I lost a lot of master, or I lost a lot of gogs, or rather, uh, I lost a lot of potential demons off of this fight, but this doesn't even matter. Point is, I would have had somewhere around... Like, I could have had somewhere around 140-ish uh, demons or whatever. That, that's just what I was trying to get at. I want to see exactly how many I could farm. And this is this is after I cleared out Dragon Utopia, by the way. Uh, the Dragon Utopia, I lost like, what, 100? Or, no, I lost like 20 or 14 or something like that. Uh, so... Anyway, I'm just playing this battle on autopilot at this point because I'm pretty much uh, it's pretty much over. But ah, interesting. They went for the ballista. Huh, okay. Anyway, um, but yeah, I could have had somewhere around 160 demons. This stack is already doing like what? Uh, this stack is doing, I think, 1600 damage on my main hero. Uh, so in, the, in a moment, I'm going to cheat just to uh, just to show how much it could have been. Uh, if I had just turned everything straight up into demons. In this playthrough in particular, note that m usually I don't have nearly as many demons. Last time I... Oh, come on. Month of the Plague, that's... Uh, that was unexpected. I want to see how much I could have gotten if I had... Uh, if I had actually farmed all my guys into demons. But anyway... Uh, yeah, point is... Actually, this isn't even my main guy. This is my main guy. Yeah, there you go. So, point is... Uh, I have a stack at this point, which does like, what, almost 2,000 damage. Uh, once again, if this were competitive play, uh, it certainly wouldn't even... Like, this 160 demons, like, I'm an amateur. Like, I really am. Like, there's a lot of other people out there who could have farmed more demons, I'm sure. Uh, I was playing on autopilot, sort of, as well. But even then, I managed this many demons, so that's kind of nice. Uh, but yeah, there's other people out there in competitive play who... Uh, could have either farmed more demons, or they could have actually farmed these dragonfly hives. Like, they could have farmed the map a lot better, and maybe by now they'd have, like, a stack of, like, I don't know, 30 wyverns? Uh, or 40 wyverns? I don't know. That... But honestly, like, just having the option of having another um, the power stack available like this is really, really nice. Okay, he fled. Let's see. Except in Roth. We really care about him. Let's let's take on these vampire lords. Just wanted to go check this out quickly. You can see like this slow. Come on, wait for it. Okay, and yeah, that's uh, I lost a Afridi somehow. Actually, wait. Yeah, okay, here's what I wanted to check out. I want to see exactly how much damage these demons can do. That's why I took that fight in the first place. Uh, I remember now. Alright, so let's throw these guys down here. And the retaliation hits for 2,000 damage. There you go, 2451. And this is without a tope that gave me something useful, too. Well, okay, it gave me something useful. Titan's Curious, but, I mean, if it had given me something like Titan's Gladius instead now, these guys would be hitting for much harder, which is just insane. And Month of the Plague, too, so... Uh, start of month two, I could have gotten even more demons. So a lot of a lot of good uh, things to think about there. Uh, let's see. So something else I wanted to mention. Um, yes, right. This start was actually way, way, way better than what I usually get. Uh, I'll, I'll be honest. Uh, and I've said this before already. But really, like. On an average start, I would have probably had somewhere closer to about 80 to 90 demons at this point. Like, uh, one of the last practice runs I did, or I think the last one that I had done, uh, I had like 100 demons at the end of the last month. Uh, and I managed to clear out a tope. Uh, here I have about... And that was without farming the gogs, I think. Don't remember the exact details, it's been a while. But yeah, point is, uh, definitely a lot of good options here. I don't know how to get to this area, though. I do wonder how to make it there. I'm lazy though, so. Uh, just looking for other Dragon Utopias too. I want to see if I can go and farm something else quickly before I call it quits. Oh, hey, look, cons. Ugh, 
all of them are min cons. Seriously, I'm looking for like a Dragon Utopia or like a maximum uh, maximum size or like a either like a Dragon Utopia or a maximum size uh, Griffin Conservatory to test the might of these demons. But you guys get the point anyway. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna wrap it up here. Don't really think there's much else for me to show. I'm really trying to recall if there's anything. Uh, the whole idea of this playthrough was just to play through month one. At this point, like, I'm pretty much set to go and crush the rest of the map with a stack this massive. As you guys saw, they're dishing out 2,500 damage with expert offense and uh, the attack skill that Octavia has. Uh, and this is not even... Like, this is with, you know, just the Greater Null's Flail. Like, if I really go, uh, tried and gotten myself, like... If I'd looked for like a black market, gone for Dragon Topia, these guys could be hitting for maybe up to even 3,000 damage at this point. I don't know. A lot of stuff there. Uh, but definitely, one of the last things that I wanted to mention. Uh, this, I was playing this entire match on 200% uh, difficulty. Uh, and I was also playing it on SOD, right? If I had decided to play it on... 160% uh, difficulty, for example, my start would have been a lot easier to work with. Uh, whatever happened on week 2 probably would have... Well, sorry. It took me pretty much all of week 2 to make it to Pit Lords, uh, and then some. But if it were 160%, I would have actually had Mercury and Sulfur to start, uh, an initial 10,000 gold. Like, think about the possibilities that, that stem from that, right? Uh, I also refrained from trying to capture the Inferno Town right away. Uh, if I had captured it start of week 3, then maybe I could have gotten re more reinforcements. I I'm trying to think of just other things, right? Like, definitely there could have been more improvements in this playthrough, and also... Uh, just... Just the setup of the game itself. Uh, this was like not even optimal. Optimal conditions would be 160%. I say 160 because if... Uh, you know, if this were a PvP game, it would probably have been done on 160%. Uh, so, yeah, if it were 160% difficulty, the tempo on the map would have been a lot faster. If uh, here in this playthrough I had 130 demons or whatever, I'm pretty sure I would have had more on 160% as opposed to the 200 in this match. Uh, and the last thing, of course, is Hoda. Uh, so in this playthrough, like I said, I was using SOD. I was not using Hoda. If I were using Horn of the Abyss, uh, if I were using Horn of the Abyss, then uh, definitely my start would have been a lot cleaner. Uh, Hoda makes it so that... Like, Hoda's a mod for the game. Most of the people who are watching this video probably know what it is, but... Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to include a link in the description below for that, too. But anyway, yeah, Horn of the Abyss, uh, it's a mod for the game. It rebalances uh, certain aspects of the game and m makes the random, map uh, the random map generator a lot cleaner. So, for example, uh, here, when I spawn a 6LM10A map, right, uh, if here in SOD... Yeah, so you see that there was like these sprites guarding an obelisk on the road, right? On Hoda, that probably wouldn't happen. Or maybe it would because this is a low-level unit. But imagine if imagine if instead of an obelisk, it was it was like a pendant of dispassion. Like, we've all had this happen before. High-level artifacts that are on the road, which are guarded by something big, that will cut you off because the random map generator put them in really weird spots, right? Hoda doesn't have that, which makes expanding on Hoda a lot more quick. Uh, and on top of that, Inferno was made a lot stronger as well, right? Uh, meaning, like, Inferno has access to Magogs and G-Key targeting. Uh, it has... They made certain buildings less expensive. It doesn't need Mage Guild level 2 in order to get to Pit Lords, which makes everything way, way, way easier. Really, it does. So, all the stuff in that last playthrough that I just did, where, you know, I had... I had Pit Lords week 3. I probably would have had them mid-week 2 at the latest, and then I could have actually probably even done that Dragon Utopia by the end of week 3. Like, I would have actually been a, a week ahead of every, uh, a week ahead of where I was here, as far as Dragon Utopia is concerned, and I probably could have even scored some, uh, some more units along the way as well, especially considering that 
uh, heroes start off with like the maximum number of stacks possible in Hoda. So more army there too. So everything would have been easier in Hoda, and everything would have been way easier in 160% difficulty. But even under these circumstances, guys, as you saw, uh, as you just saw here, uh, end of week or end of month one. Uh, 14 Pit Lords, 131 Demons, Titans Curus, and a nice Orb of the Firmament uh, to blast your enemies with using Lightning Bolts. So, uh, hope you guys learned something new from this video and uh, enjoyed it. Uh, this is pretty much where I'm going to wrap up. A nice two-hour playthrough. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a nice, chill little match um, where I could unwind and just chat for a bit and talk about Heroes 3 strategy, if I could really call it that. So, uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, I don't know if it was good, I don't know if you guys enjoyed it, I don't know if you, know, you guys would never want to see anything like this again, would just want to see me go do challenges. I'm gonna, I'm planning to do more challenges, uh, it's going to be more challenges from here on out, of course, but I just want to do this nice little playthrough uh, while talking about different, or just theorizing about how much you could get out of demon farming, because there's a lot of people who, like I said at the beginning of the video, uh, there's a lot of people who are all like, oh, yeah, Inferno's like the worst, and I'm like, okay, well... I'll have you know that this is what you can do with Inferno. You can make a really strong power stack, and you can go push through the map with it, and I think I demonstrated that quite nicely. So, anyway, that's pretty much where I'm going to wrap it up. Thank you all for watching, and have a fun time playing Heroes of Might and Magic 3. Uh, it's kind of odd for me to have not advertised my streams as well. Uh, that That's what I was missing. There's Saturday streams, or there's streams for Heroes 3s on Saturdays. Heroes 3s. Uh, there's streams for Heroes 3 on Saturdays uh, from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Pacific or 1900 to 3 o'clock Central European uh, time. Definitely worth checking out if you guys want to see more Heroes 3 content, but there we go. That's the last thing I want to say. So, uh, yeah, if you guys haven't had your fair fill of Heroes 3, make sure to go check that out um, for the next Saturday that you're available. If you guys have nothing better to do, that's uh, definitely an option for you. So thank you all for watching, and have a fun time playing Heroes of Mighty Magic 3. Peace.